Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use collections. So, what are collections? Collections uh, provide a sane way of interacting with persistent data. Um, so, essentially what they do, they will, when you say, hey, I want this data, it will check to see if it's already been loaded. If it hasn't been loaded, it will go and load it for you. You can make whatever modifications you want to that data, and then when actual uh, terminates, then that data will then get written back to disk. Um, so the idea is that you then don't get race conditions, um, you don't get um, uh, data being um, overwritten because it's been loaded twice, and you don't get it being lost because it's been written twice, and um, all this type of rubbish. So, uh, let's quickly demo some. Um, so, uh, the documentation for it can be found here, and so once again, that is, uh, let's just do it, um, github, uh, ksandom, actual, and we want to get into packages available, and then there is a collection there, and then there's docs. And uh, yeah, so there's all of the various stuff sitting in there. So, uh, let's go help equals collection. Here is some stuff that we can uh, use. Save, you almost never need to know about. Um, and I may actually make that hidden fairly soon. Uh, so these two are really the ones which um, are of interest to you. Um, collection load is what you'll use almost always. Collection load arbitrary is generally only used by libraries. Um, if you need to interact with a piece of data outside of the actual, uh, so the actual uh, system, then the, the actual directory structure, then this is something that uh, may be of use to you. Then take a bit of care because suddenly you'll be relying on stuff which may not. Um, uh, if the file may not be there next time, um, does that mean that there's going to be a problem um, for you? Um, yeah, just take some care, that's all. Okay, so uh, first off, let's have a quick go. So what we're going to do here is just load a collection, and we're going to load a collection called cat. Um, and you're going to see that this does not exist yet. Boik, there it is. This is a good uh, thing to do during the install process. Um, I will make a way of um, suppressing that because most of the time you do want to know about that, but during installation, like when you're the first time using the collection, you probably don't want to see it. Um, cool. So, now, if we go and run that again, we're not going to get that error because it's been saved. I'm wrong? Why? Oh, hang on, possibly because I haven't set something in there. Let's try um, set cat a equals blah. Yeah, there we go. So I had to set something. And so now if I go and... Um, uh, get equals cat a and we're going to see blah. So that's all there is to it. So essentially um, you can, uh, you just have to say collection load before whatever you want to do and um, uh, yeah and then do whatever you want to do and then it'll take care of the saving for you. You notice I didn't do a save in it there. Um, now let's go and just demonstrate this a little bit further. So we're going to say set blah one and then we're going to take this and we're going to load it again and then we're going to go um, yeah because that that should say blah if um, we're getting the most recent version from disk but if we haven't then it should say blah one. So if this is working correctly we should see blah one Okay, and away, and you see we see blah one. So this one here has not been loaded because we had already done it there. Cool, let's go and do this in a macro. 
So once again, I'm in this uh, this demo package which I've been using for creating all these different examples. Um, so we're going to uh, make um, example collection dot macro. Okay. Uh, basic um, collection example that increments a cat. There we go. And uh, cat. There we go. Um, Takes no parameters. Good. Okay, so first off, um, we'll just check that that um, is functioning as expected so we don't, don't get any syntax errors or anything. So, example collection. Um, Okay, that's good. So, what we need to do now is we want to put in um, collection load and we're going to go cat. And then we're going to go basic math. And then we're going to go cat. And then we're going to go how many um, equals. And then we're going to go. We're going to take that, we are going to add one. Uh, and then, actually we better, we better do something with that. We're get then going to get cat how many... There we go. So now, if I do it first time, no I won't get an error, I've already got the error before from this line here. Um, so therefore we won't get an error and we should get a one. Ooh. Ah, okay. So, so first off, uh, I'm not quite sure why I got those, uh, but I'm now going to have to make a note about fixing that. Um, this here, that very first line here, this line here shows you um, that means that that uh, function doesn't exist. Um, or macro, uh, as I should call it, uh, basic maths. Okay, so now let's do this again. Uh, undefined offset. My bad. <laughs> so what I did wrong there is that. Um, I potentially need to make a nicer error message about that. Okay, so um, let's try that again. There we go. And so it has actually been working um, in the background while I've been testing this. Um, so if I just quickly go and remove, and we'll say this file. Now we're going to get that error again, because it's the first time writing to it. There we go, but then if I write to it again, it's all happy. So that is showing a very basic example there. So uh, we start off, we, um, we say that we want the data, um, we don't actually go and get it, we just say we want it. Um, here we're just doing something with it and then we're just going and retrieving it so we, get, we output it. We've had a look at what collections are. They are a, a safe way of interacting with persistent data. So if you want to store any settings or anything like that, this is the way to do it. There is um, some old uh, save store to data and save store to uh, config. Leave those alone unless you've got a really good reason for using them because that will uh, that will lead you to bugs. Hence why I created this. Um, this is a safe way of doing it. Uh, hence why would you use them. I did a command line one uh, before 
and then um, we did the macro and that's that there. Uh, any questions uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them.